Hello all, welcome to OpenMentor.net. Now we are going to see how to do correlation. Correlation is also dynamic parameterization. If you look at the script material request in the home, this is the MM display page. Then it has got some uh, sub requests. Then there is a login page. If you go here, here there is a dynamic ID, J session ID. Every time you run, this will be different. What you get from the server will be different. So to know more about this, what we need to do is we need to go to the respective request and then if you go to this advanced tab, it will show you the recorded request. It will show you the recorded response. At the time of response, what came from the server, you will see here. Okay. So in this one, in the recorded request, there was a dynamic uh, ID, J session ID. This is a dynamic value. You do not know while sending the request. Only when you go to this page, it will give you that ID. That particular dynamic value, you need to pass it on to subsequent requests. Some applications may work with cor without correlation. Some applications will force you to do correlations. So to do that, first what I need to do is I need to find out what is my dynamic ID. So I find that here to find out in which all the places it is occurring. So it should not be a hard coded value like this. We may have to rephrase it and then make it as a parameter. So it will appear with the dollar symbol as we see in the parameterization. To do that, go to the top of the request, right click, say flag request. Flag request, then you, can, you have to first check in the response because the data will come in the response. Okay. So first check the request response for the dynamic value. The moment you put that uh, string over here and then click close, you will see a tick mark. Expand the tick mark. Now you see in these places this dynamic ID is used. It may be used in multiple places but this is the first time you got the response in this place. Okay, So you go to this place, select this advanced button. This is the request. This is the recorded response. So it is the first time this value has come. So what we need to do is we need to use a concept called variable extractors. So I go to this variable extractors. First I click add plus. Now I say uh, use the word J session ID. Where should I look at it? Should I look in body? Should I look in header? So I first try to look in the body. Now to find out where exactly it is, all you need to do is click this text picker, click on this. You try to search for it. Okay. Now it is there. The dynamic text appears over here. Before the text J session ID equal to left boundary happens like this. Right boundary is this. There's double quotes on this. So what I need to do is I will pick up the previous boundary left hand side to my dynamic text manually you have to go and then find where the text is by doing a find now this is the text to the left of it j session id equal to is present then i say pick the selected text it appears over here now the moment you put that here watch here value extracted it says after this text this whole text appears it includes this also now what i'm doing is the text starts with this dynamic text. It ends with double quotes and this greater than symbol. Now you see that dynamic text exactly appears over here. So you are giving the prefix, you are giving the suffix or the left boundary text and the right boundary text. The neo load will show you where the text, what is the text that comes in the response. Now click OK. Now it says, hey, you gave a parameter name that is J session ID. This is appearing in 20 different places. Okay. Make sure you replace with the variable called dollar J session ID because this is called dynamic parameter. Now make sure you replace all. Now if you, if you replace all 
and then click OK. Look here. In all the places, this is just the name of that. You can also just remove this. This is just the name. You can remove that. Now, if you look here, in all the subsequent places, previously it was displaying the dynamic text. Now, this has been replaced with the parameter. Once this has been done, make sure, as usual, you go to the virtual user, validate that request. That is very, very important. Then you can find out what was the uh, dynamic text at the time of recording, what was the text that came while replaying. Okay, It's a very simple way. Now, if you go to the top of that, it shows the new J session ID is this. Whereas, when we recorded, the J session ID was something different. So, how do we know that? If you go back to your script, if you go back to your script, go to the advanced mode, go to the recorded request. While recording, this was the dynamic text. It starts with 3, 4, E, B, E. Whereas, while replaying, the, the new dynamic ID is E, 9, 5, 2, B. It starts with that. So, if you don't replace like this in dynamic uh, parameters, many applications will not work, especially in .NET, there is a parameter called view state, underscore, underscore, view state, underscore, underscore, uh, view info. So if you do not replace those things, certain applications will not work. So make sure you replace all the server supplied dynamic values using the flagging and then replacing. Very simple technique, right click, flag, check in the response. Once you identify the right text with the left boundary and the right boundary, replace all the occurrences. With that, we stop the session here. Thanks for visiting openmentor.net.